This center really um, is fast uh, becoming the pinnacle of, of autism research, certainly in, uh, in Canada. The people who are working at the center, uh, besides the fact that they happen to be top-notch um, scientists, the, the, the reality is that they're also just wonderful, caring human beings. And watching them interact with, uh, with our son, to me, that's, that's something quite special. And it's, uh, it's, it's very important when it comes to patient care. Um, obviously, knowledge is critical. Obviously, training is critical. But one has to have that sense of, uh, of, of empathy and, um, and respect towards the person that they're working with. To me, that's, that's something quite special. We want to have uh, the research integrated into the existing clinical care services so that um, the families can access the research as part of their routine care services and then to have research findings sort of feedback into their care in a tailored way. So the main goal, I think, is for us to be an open, connected clinical research platform whereby families can come into um, an accessible, warm, inviting atmosphere and participate in their research experience with familiar faces. We at the Neuro, we're a kind of a mixture of a research institute and a hospital. We were created a long time ago by Dr. Penfield really was the vision of going from the patient to the lab and then from the lab back to the patients. Uh, we wanted to develop an ACAR clinic, uh, an autism clinic, which would be a research clinic, not a, not a clinic that just sees patients, but that really recruits patients. ACAR was created. It actually was, was an idea that was so well accepted that it ended up by nucleating a, a movement that took the name of Transform Autism Care Consortium, which is a TAC. Le Réseau pour transformer les soins en autisme, le RTSA, est un réseau thématique provincial soutenu par les fonds de la santé, le Fonds de la recherche en santé du Québec, dont l'objectif est de connecter et de mobiliser les forces de la recherche en autisme au Québec afin d'intégrer les connaissances issues de la recherche dans les pratiques et dans les politiques pour améliorer la qualité de vie des personnes autistes et de leurs familles. Étant un centre et un réseau qui est coordonné ici au neuro, on crée une ressource de recherche qui inclut des, des échantillons biologiques et des données euh, génétiques cellulaires d'imagerie cérébrale. Ces données-là seront mises à la disposition euh, des chercheurs, non seulement au Québec faisant partie du réseau ou ceux qui font partie du Centre CARA, mais euh, dans la philosophie de sciences ouvertes qui, dans laquelle on s'inscrit nous ici au Neuro, euh, sera euh, accessible à tous les chercheurs au niveau insta international. You know, we do believe in uh, free sharing of science, free sharing of information, free sharing of biomaterials. C'est une vision unique où l'objectif ultime, c'est de générer des connaissances qui sont basées sur la réalité, mais qui pourront avoir un impact concret et direct sur les familles. We want to start from patients, we want to understand what's going on, and we want to find ways of being able to intervene to improve uh, quality of life. I mean, this is really what it is. The goal, I think, is to be part of this greater effort to, to give people who are on the spectrum as much uh, um, independence uh, as possible and to ensure that their voice is heard.